There's Joseph and the Technicolor Dreamcoat. I'm Jared with the Technicolor Nightmare Charger. Welcome to the shop. I'm Jared and this is Wrench Every Day. And next to me is our now running 2008 Dodge Charger. We took two of them and got one running and I'm really excited and can't wait to drive it. Now the logical thing would probably be test drive it, make sure you know it works before putting it all together. But we're not always logical around here. The questionable is our motto. So we are going to go ahead and transfer as many of our movie car parts onto this chassis to make it look, oh, it's not gonna look very good. It's gonna be black and white and blue and looks like it lost a bar fight, but that's okay because I got challenged to a race and quite frankly, it's gonna get beat up in that race, but we're gonna show up because we don't back down from a challenge. And it also means the first drive in this car is going to be something absolutely incredible. And I'm excited to uh, do it because it's exactly what you should do with a car with completely worn out suspension and diff bushings, but we're gonna do it. And you're gonna find out what that is a little bit later. Now we've got a whole lot of work ahead of us and I'm going to take you around the car and kind of show you some of what we're gonna to try to get done. It is a lot of work. Hey everyone, so I wanted to talk to you about why both me and Jared have a Dodge Charger. And it's because the Dodge Charger I think is the best bang for the buck you can get when you want a fun automobile. And the best bang for your buck when it comes to your internet is NordVPN. And if you haven't heard of Nord, that's today's sponsor and they are a game changer when it comes to browsing. So NordVPN is a virtual private network. You can access it from anywhere. It just takes a click. You can open the map, click on a location, and you'll be connected in seconds. It's just that easy. You can find your favorite streaming platforms at a lower price. And if you can't find a platform in your country, you can simply change it to another virtual location. One really interesting bit is that you have no more bandwidth throttling. NordVPN encrypts all your traffic so your internet service provider can't slow down your streaming speed. And it's just as good for gaming. If a game isn't available in your country, that's no problem. You just change your virtual location and you buy it. You can also find discounts in other regions and you have 60 countries to choose from. And in those 60 countries, you have more than 5,200 servers. So just find a server near you for better speed or in a faraway location for more content. Now our viewers get an exclusive NordVPN deal by hitting the link in the description below. You'll go to nordvpn.com slash wrench every day and you'll get an exclusive NordVPN deal from us. And this is only to our viewers. So go check it out right now. All right, so beginning at the front of the car, one of the most signature things on a cop car is the push bar and we have one and we've got brackets that are bent. So we're gonna have to take those off, straighten them up a little bit, and then we're going to take a look at the brackets that are on the movie car because they're a little bit different so we can get that bull bar mounted. Now we're not going to fully wire up this wheel and siren. We don't have a controller for it yet. So we're just gonna tuck away that outfitter cable for now. We've got some real exciting plans coming on that. And then we've got fenders, hood, Although when we paint the car for the final build, we're probably gonna go back to the police pursuit hood. It feels like it's aluminum. It weighs almost nothing where the factory hood that came off of our uh, cop car there, it weighs a lot. So I'm a fan of trying to get some lightweight on it. So we will sacrifice the screen provenance um, and go ahead and run the lightweight hood. Uh, in the engine bay, we still need our fuel hose. The one I initially ordered unfortunately came in and was for the 08, which is a slightly different style, takes the fuel there. So we've got the 09 hose express ordered and it will be here uh, just in time for the race. And then we'll come around here, we've got doors. I'm gonna change and put the Continental rims on it, find our hubcaps. Doors, we're not doing interior yet, details later on that. We've got our trunk lid with, you know, cop car accurate spoiler, which none of them actually had, but we're gonna change out the trunk and our rear bumper. And once we get that rear bumper swapped, we will have a car that kind of looks like the cop car movie car with blue and <laughs> it's gonna be an interesting mess, but that's okay. Uh, we just don't have time to paint or do anything because I'm actually leaving for Florida in three and a half days. 
three and a half days. So we've got to get this completely ready, everything else we need to get done, done, and get it on the trailer and drive it down because we don't quite have title paperwork back yet. So that's a whole lot of work, but we're gonna be able to get it done, no problem. So let's get started. All right, so we have gotten a whole lot done and uh, we now have a very multicolored Dodge Charger. I'm kind of laughing. Uh, there's Joseph and the Technicolor Dreamcoat. I'm Jared with the Technicolor Nightmare Charger. So we've got to pick up some hardware in the morning. I need to get a proper screw or uh, bolt for the spoiler on the deck lid. There's two of them that were too long and not fully securing it there. We need some plastic rivets, some body clips here and there. And really the only major roadblock that's stopping us from rolling this outside and giving it a proper detail and shine so it looks good on camera is our push bar bracket. So I've got them pulled off the front of the charger right now. We've got a little pass through bolts there on each side and they had proper spacers. All of that is doing what it is supposed to be doing, but these were bent very badly. I don't have a good press or heavy duty bench inside, so I took it to my old trailer outside with high blistering wind, and I kind of got them straightened a little, but not really at all. And the only gas I have for any type of torch is a propane torch, which could not get that even close enough to hot enough. So I may pick up a press in the morning or we'll take a field trip over to GRC where I'll get in their way and use his press. And then we get to start working on fabricating our own mounts that are gonna work with the push bar. So what I'm thinking is we'll get this bent back straight, cut it back a little bit, and we'll cut those brackets off with some fresh hardware and actually bolt them in because the way they were, you almost had to kind of scratch and force it through the grill where I can make it just kind of a nice little straight leg and then drop some heavy duty hardware. And then we've got headlights to fit and I've got to decide if we want to use the clouded old ones or the newer ones with broken brackets. 
there's a little bit of work there. And then in nice cold weather, we'll take this thing out and give it a really, really good deep bath inside and out and try to give it a little bit of shine. So it uh, looks pretty for its big race, which I mean, when you're 14 colors, how pretty can you look? You know what? It looks beautiful. I love this car. It runs, we're making it better. It was forgotten and abandoned. Probably should have stayed that way, but we're too stubborn. We're gonna make it a good car again. Cause it's kind of fun looking right now. All right, we'll go to the store and be back here in the morning, which is now. All right, so we are into the next morning. We got the sweater on because it's still nice and chilly in Georgia. And we're starting to work on the push bar for the front of the charger. I've done a little digging and this appears to be a Satina brand. And the pictures I'm finding of how it was mounted does not match at all the bracket system that was on the movie car. So we're going to try to actually fix it to be right. So we went and uh, you can see it over there, picked up the press this morning, oh, right there. Picked up the press this morning where I was able to get these brackets about 85 to 90% good and straight ready to go, which is gonna be very useful. Now the way these brackets were, these are the little extensions I had cut off the other car, it dropped through and these were kind of fixed mounted. But looking at pictures of how this is supposed to fit in and work is the bumper cover goes on and you access it through these bolt-in holes. So what we're going to go ahead and do is mount in the bumper cover. We'll get that bumper on and start trying to raise and lower and figure out what's gonna be a good height so we can get that in. We're just gonna keep on pushing away and get this thing ready because uh, we're running out of time. We have made a good bit of progress and it kind of looks like a car in the front end, although it is hiding a few problems. So one thing that we're running into is I wanted to run the movie car headlights, but uh, they had a bunch of broken brackets and they sit a little bit far in. And because of that, um, well, it's actually staying this time, but this is not staying in very well and the right side doesn't even snap in. So we had to zip tie it. I've got to get some bulbs and it's about as good as I can get that bumper to fit. We need new upper brackets to hold them in, but we've got a push bar, mostly kind of. So as I'm trying to get these brackets to work, something I have realized is that thing has bent a lot. It has most likely been involved in some stunt work and it's not very square anymore. Uh, I've found a center here, and if you look, that's pretty center on the car and the body line. But if we look under here, those brackets are close to lining up. That side, 
not so much. So in measuring the outriggers, the outside of the bracket, we have almost a three quarter inch spread out. So I've kind of gone from making really nice brackets to making brackets good enough for now, because if I want a good true push bar, I'm gonna have to just get a new one with new brackets. So not in an ideal situation, but it's what we're gonna do. So we're going to get spacers, mount the side that's relatively true, and then I'm going to use a come along or ratchet straps and pull that lower section in until I can get that to drop in and bolt up. And that puts us basically assembled. Once we get that and the bulbs in, I'll be able to put wheel liners and wheels on it and uh, about ready to head south with it for the, uh, the race that, you know, it'll be at. There's minimal chance of uh, winning, but we're gonna be there with a car that barely worked. Well, honestly, didn't work five days before the, the, the race day. So um, questionable choices and all, it's gonna look fantastic in its hodgepodge of color. And you know, I don't know, you guys comment below. <laughs> the more I see this ridiculous combo of colors, the more I'm growing to kind of like it, you know? Maybe we'll get the roof white, let that little bit of blue stay in there and just, you know, be a bunch of different colors. So we've got to run and pick up some more bolts and a few bits of hardware, and then it's on the ground, ready to drive. All right, so we are into the next day and I knocked out a couple just little quick things. I finished with those spacers for our front push bar there. Um, I'll show you that you shouldn't do this again. The push bar is unfortunately bent and isn't gonna stay on permanently. So I just needed to get it on strong enough just so it doesn't fall off, which I didn't think it would, but we wanted to take some steps to make sure things were as secure as we could potentially make it. Got the correct fuel line and got that on and the wheels and tires, we've got the wheel liners in and apparently this year charger uses headlight bulbs that aren't that common. There are 9,005 and 9,006 bulbs, which are fairly common, but they have a little 90 degree bend at the end. Well, this takes an XS where they're straight and I've not seen it and three of the parts stores and the Dodge dealer didn't have them. So we've got what lights work. I don't have any other bulbs, so it's okay. We're not driving at night, but uh, yeah, about these, these spacers. Um, proper solid steel spacers, they wanted $20 each. So uh, I got some adjustable zinc coated threaded rod nuts, coupler nuts, and uh, they're working fine. I mean, we can step on this thing and it's got a little bit of movement, but it's meant to push, not go up and down. So something we've been needing to do since getting, honestly, both of the chargers, the movie car out of the storage place and uh, the now donor chassis that is what we are built off of from its muddy backyard down the hill hole. So thankfully Georgia is cooperating that I have like 42 degree weather today. So the hose won't freeze and we will be able to uh, hurry up, get this thing pressure washed, cleaned up inside and out the best we possibly can. And then it's back inside to see if we can't, you know, polish the turd a little bit, get some uh, gloss on the paint that we can get you know, just so it looks nice and then clean up the interior a little bit. So that way uh, all the mud and junk is uh, gone and clean up. So let's do the thing I'm not any good at, but it, it works anyway. Let's get washing.
All right, well, we were going to set out and clean the interior, but it really wasn't too bad. We found some of those interesting things in the trunk, and that's about it. We threw away a playing card, a broken corner marker, and one ketchup packet from the interior. I'm not gonna go too crazy with cleaning that vinyl flooring because we still have this whole interior to go into it still. We just don't have to do that before we head down to Florida. So we're now at the point where we're going to walk around the car and see how it's wrapped up, how it's looking for the big, well, race, beating, I, I don't know. It's, it's showing up, which four days ago, the car didn't even work. So we're, I'm just excited. I really hope you guys can tell how excited I am for this silly thing. There's not enough paint on this hood to buff it. I would have liked to, there's just, there's nothing there to try to bring back any shine. We did some quick washes and waxes. We've got the uh, push bar mounted, questionably, but it will push. Got a little bit of, you know, slickum sauce on those tires. So it is, uh, they're, they're looking a little bit newer. But once we get a lot of that grime off, there's a reasonable amount of shine still in those fenders. We got most of the streaks out of our door, our faded patrol. I mean, it's just, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of digging this look of, uh, you know, just whatever color, you know, it's its its own thing and I, I really like it. So again, come around, we've got as many of the Bolton movie car parts that we could possibly bring in. And man, it's just, it's cool. We open up our interior and again, it's, presentable again we just we have to show up so we're doing what we have to to be able to show up and uh i really want your guys input because initially it was 100 we we're going to paint it to make it look just like the chp car but i don't know i, I kind of like this mismatch again we'll maybe paint the hood white we'll put the blue hood on it i don't know go ahead and comment and tell me what you guys are thinking if you think just make it as movie accurate as possible. We've deviated far enough from the movie car and it's not really ever going to have movie car value. It is a wrench every day car and project roadblock. So it doesn't matter where it came from because we've got huge plans coming up for it. But I, I want your opinion. Do we paint it? Do we make it look like the CHP car? Do we just kind of keep the Harlequin look of just a bunch of different, you know, colors? Because that's what it took to make this car work we took two broken abandoned forgotten cars and we've got something that is amazing and works and i'm just i'm over the moon and we're doing something for its first drive in the next charger episode that's insane so i hope you guys will tune into that and i appreciate you guys 100 percent tuning in today and hanging out as we just kind of thrash and get ready for that event and i keep teasing it but hopefully you guys will have fun watching it too um Again, thank you, Ben Pack. The lifts made this uh, whole series a lot easier and it's gonna make all of our projects going forward a lot easier. But um, we have got to uh, get a couple other things packed and uh, drive down to Florida. Why is it anytime I'm towing a charger, it's in a hurry and I'm kind of running behind. Oh well, but uh, I'm Jared reminding you guys to always make questionable choices. And if you're challenged, it is okay to say no, but I'm not going to. We'll see you.